Ever wondered what it'd be like to talk to animals? What would they say? Well, Coco the gorilla might be able to tell us. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Making the rounds on the internet lately has been a viral video of a gorilla with a message. Coco the gorilla signs saying she loves man and loves nature, but man is stupid. She says to fix nature. While heartfelt, it seems a little scripted. I mean, her teacher even admitted to giving her a script. But who is this Coco anyway? Coco is probably the world's most famous gorilla. She's a western lowland gorilla who rose to fame in the 1980s with her amazing ability to speak using American Sign Language and for her love of kittens. Since then, she's become a celebrity and icon for gorilla conservation. She was born at the San Francisco Zoo on July 4th, 1971. She's been working with teacher Dr. Penny Patterson, then a doctoral student in developmental psychology at Stanford University since she was just a year old. Within two weeks of working together, Coco had learned the signs for eat and drink. Since then, Coco has spent over 30 years living in the hills near Santa Cruz as part of the Gorilla Foundation started by Dr. Patterson. She now uses over 1,100 signs and even combines them to make up her own words. For example, she signed finger bracelet to describe a ring. But back to that viral video. In spite of what she's signing, Coco probably doesn't understand climate change. Franz DeWall, director of Emory University's Living Links Primate Research Center, told the Huffington Post that Coco's human-coached message goes well beyond anything that a gorilla understands or cares about. While she may not know much about climate change, Coco does know a lot about language. Gestures are something gorillas do naturally, according to one study published in the journal Animal Cognition. And the researchers note that the way apes use this kind of language reflects some understanding of the audience. For example, if an ape makes a series of gestures and its audience, which would be other gorillas, understand it, that gorilla will continue to make the same gestures. If the other gorilla conveys confusion, the first gorilla will try other gestures. This suggests that apes might have some sort of theory of mind or the understanding that others might have different intentions, desires, or thoughts. It sounds simple, but only a few animals on this planet can do it. So maybe gorillas like Coco have some sense of what's going on in another's mind. But surprisingly, most apes fail another test of animal cognition, the mirror test. This tests how self-aware animals are by seeing whether they recognize themselves in a mirror. Gorillas, while supposedly highly intelligent, fail the mirror test. Now, this might not be due to lack of intelligence. Eye contact in the gorilla world is seen as an act of aggression. Either way, Coco, who has been raised mostly with her teacher and around humans who make eye contact, passes the mirror test. She even uses a mirror as a tool to groom herself. She even seems to experience grief and memory. After the loss of her beloved kitten, All Ball, she signed the words bad, sad, bad, and frown, cry, frown. It's a loss she still refers to decades later. She made headlines yet again when she heard of the passing of Robin Williams, who she once met. According to spokeswoman for the Gorilla Foundation, Coco became very somber, with her head bowed and her lip quivering. She signed woman and crying. While she may or may not have remembered meeting Robin Williams, it seems she at least was picking up on her teacher's sadness. So in the end, that viral video might be a little staged, but come on, what viral video these days isn't staged? Coco has been a great icon for animal conservation, and she's permanently changed the way we understand animal intelligence. Her abilities have opened the door to true cross-species communication. And that's something you can't fake. Animal emotions probably aren't news to you, especially if you have man's best friend curled up on your lap as you watch this video. Dog owners have been saying it for years. Dogs are really just four-legged furry humans. And now science backs it up. To find out more, check out this episode right here. It activated at the sense of familiar humans. It activated when their owner walked into the room. So the same part of the brain that lights up for love and attachment and beauty in a human lit up for similar things in a dog. So if you could communicate to any animal, which would it be? Tell us down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to D News. We've got new episodes every day of the week.